This is a song that has to do with culture. That I don't, uh, I call it a culture. So I learned it on a cultural exchange tour. I was over in uh, Nigeria and the Middle East and across North Africa playing on a State Department tour, seeing how many diseases an American can get. Uh, I came back with a whole bunch. They shipped me home in a big 50 gallon drum with an adult sized pamper. Uh, local medicine called liquid cork, which is good for the amoebic stuff that you pick up. It's really great, great feeling. Went to a friend of mine who was a doctor when I came back and gave me all these tests and just said, oh wow, looking in a microscope, like a walking culture dish. But I learned this song. It was written down by Robert Burns about 250 years ago or so. It's a great song for images. And I have to wrap it in a cloak of culture, or sometimes I can get in a jam with it. But you don't stand behind me, I hope. Uh, it's, it's a story about a party they had in Scotland. Back in the days when they pulled up the drawbridge, everybody that was cool was inside. So they didn't have to worry about the man coming, see? Plus the moat was just a big septic tank, anyhow. Full of dead swans. They were all floating around. And had to change the swans all the time. But what happened at this party is a true story. Somebody threw, see in those days the girls wore long dresses, remember those big long billowy skirts, and Ken underwear. That's the Scott saying for no underwear. See how cultured it's getting already. Feels just like big English lit class. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now what happens is somebody throws these rose hip seeds on the ground. Now rose hips, you know, uh, if you're into organic food and vitamins, rose hips are a very good natural source of vitamin C. But the seeds have hair on them, like little bristles. And the girls, in the frivolity and briskness of the dance, frisking, kicked the seeds up under the dress and started this terrible itch. Now, somebody also dumped some aphrodisiac into the punch. And about a half an hour later, everybody's giving each other that lean and hungry look. You know that? Lewd and lascivious, trying to get some, going to think about it for a while, and you're going to be the recipient of my long-anticipated glee. Uh, but what happened? Somebody put the oil lamp out, and as this old Scott told me, and is recorded in the Library of Congress, what happened then, lad, was an orgy of such great magnitude that 40 acres of corn were completely flat. Just a lot of images called the boy.